The Kardashians are falling apart this season of their show, and it's sparking a conversation online of who is right and who is wrong and what's going on with this show. People have been complaining about the Kardashians show not being like how it once was for a while now, feeling like the girls are just not as real and honest as they once used to be, and it's just not as fun anymore. The drama is more ridiculous than ever. And I can for sure say that I think the drama between Kim and Courtney this season has been the most ridiculous one yet because I truly don't understand what the big deal is. This is seriously like some sort of rich person sister drama that I honestly cannot relate to and a lot of people cannot relate to. But one of the ongoing storylines this season has been that Courtney is absolutely so hurt by Kim collaborating with Dolce & Gabbana last September. Kim curated a collection with them that featured a series of 90s inspired outfits. There was a whole runway show for it. It was a huge deal to Kim to get this deal and she was really proud of herself. But Courtney was really upset because this was all happening just four months after her wedding and Dolce & Gabbana hosted and opened their 90s archive for Courtney's wedding in Italy and she felt like Kim was copying her. Honestly, to me, it sounds ridiculous to even say out loud. I mean, Courtney is upset Kim did a fashion show with similar pieces to the theme of her wedding with the same brand. I mean, in my mind, nobody is confusing a wedding and a runway show and nobody is sitting here thinking, wow, Kim stole from court. I think if anything, everyone would just think, wow, the Kardashians have a really good relationship with Dolce and Gabbana. I don't think anyone is really sitting here confusing the two events or studying what outfits people wore to Courtney's wedding and mistaking them or confusing them or is taking some sort of shine away from her wedding now that Kim has done this. The whole thing is just so ridiculous to me. And this past week, Kim basically said on the episode that if we want to get down to who really copied who, Kim said that she got married in Italy and Andrea Bocelli also performed at her wedding like he did at Courtney's. So if we wanna talk copying, she basically did the same thing for her wedding that Kim did. And I just feel like the whole copying thing isn't even the biggest deal of all. I think that Courtney is probably just upset that Dolce & Gabbana didn't want to do a collection with her and they worked with Kim instead. And it's like a jealousy situation because that would make more sense to me. I mean, they opened the 90s archive for her and she was really close with Dolce & Gabbana and they did all that stuff like, you know, with that being her theme of her wedding, I'm sure she was like really wanting them to ask her to be the face of this 90s collection, but instead they asked Kim and I'm sure that made her feel like small in some sort of way. And people have also talked about the fact that their mom, Chris, has favorites. Like it's no like joke that Chris has a favorite daughter. Sometimes it's Kylie, sometimes it's Kim, but it's never Chloe and it's never Kendall and it's never Courtney. And they make it very, very clear on the show. And I think that plays a part into it. If she is feeling like Chris is always favoriting Kim and then Dolce and Gabbana, you know, works with her for her wedding, yet they still go with Kim to be the face of the 90s collection that they're curating. I just feel like that is like another thing that she is just like, oh, like, you know, why is Kim always winning? But the way that she was explaining the fight on the show, it was just so ridiculous. And this argument has gotten just so out of hand. Courtney was over there talking about how Kim is only seeing dollar signs here and, you know, she's not respecting her. And I'm like, honestly, Kim is so rich. I feel like this wasn't even about money for her. Like she genuinely wanted to curate a collection with Dolce & Gabbana because that sounds like a big deal in the fashion world. It's not like she needs the money. Like she's obviously only really saying yes to doing things these days that she's genuinely excited about because she's so well off. Kim's collaboration with Dolce & Gabbana was originally meant to center around her own brand Skims, but they couldn't get the pieces made in time. So that's why she just curated a collection with them with their archived pieces. 
and she said that she made sure none of them were the ones that Courtney had in her wedding. But still, Courtney has accused Kim of using her wedding day as some business opportunity. And Kim says that she asked them to push the deal one year to not be so close to Courtney's wedding, but they said that they were going to go ahead with the collection with or without Kim, so she just decided to join in. She said that she wanted to challenge herself with this opportunity and prove to herself that she can do something in the fashion world by herself, since for years, Kanye was the one dressing her and giving her creative direction. This was something that she could do on her own and she really, really wanted to, but Courtney was just not buying into that. She just felt like Kim was being selfish and she was looking at money and all that. And when Kim and Courtney sat down to talk about this in the recent episode, Kim brought up that Kylie had literally done a campaign with Dolce & Gabbana right after Courtney's wedding. And that didn't seem to be a big issue for Courtney. And Courtney says that she just didn't expect Kylie to call her about it because she's in Kylie world. So that's why it wasn't as big of a deal for her, which is why I feel like this is more of a Courtney is just like really upset about Kim always getting things instead of this being like a Dolce Gabbana, like too close to her wedding type of deal. It just felt really personal to Courtney that Kim specifically took the deal. And she just really didn't think that Kim should have taken it if she was going to be a good sister. And that whole thing took away from the specialness of her wedding, which I don't think that it took anything away from her wedding. Like they got a special on Hulu. Everyone was looking at her wedding. It was all over Instagram. Her and Travis will not let people breathe without seeing the two of them like make out. So they got married like a bunch of times too in Vegas. They had a courthouse wedding and then they had their big wedding in Italy. So I don't think anyone is, you know, taking anything away from her wedding by like Kim doing this. But the internet has been trolling Courtney online for weeks over the fact that she's upset about this with people tweeting, I'm usually team Courtney, but the fact that she thinks Kim went out of her way to copy her to be malicious is just her projecting. She didn't take Kylie seriously because she just doesn't take Kylie seriously. She's threatened by Kim. Courtney just needs to be honest and say that she would have liked to be the one chosen for the Dolce & Gabbana gig. And it would have made sense because her wedding had just happened. None of this blah, blah, blah. There's something deeper than this Kim narrative. When Courtney said Kim copied her La Dolce Vita lifestyle of eating ice cream and paparazzi, girl, be serious. I'm catching up on the Kardashians and Courtney being mad at Kim for getting her bag several months after her wedding is literally insane. What the hell is going on in Courtney's mind? Genuinely asking. So because Courtney had a wedding with Dolce & Gabbana, Kim isn't allowed to have a collab with them. She is such a weirdo. It's truly like the richest fight ever. Like, are you guys really sitting here crying over an Italian Dolce & Gabbana wedding and a Dolce & Gabbana collection? The richness is just flooding out of my mouth in just that one sentence. It's no wonder people are clowning them for the storylines of this season. It's just so freaking crazy to me that this is the fight that is really like the whole center of this season of the show. There's also so many people on TikTok who have like analyzed the situation and also feel like there's like some deeper meaning behind all of this. And it does kind of relate to like Chris and the favoritism in the family and her and Kim having some sort of competition. It all comes from Kris Jenner. Kris Jenner does not see her children as individuals. She sees them as extensions of the brand. And now that her children are not necessarily children anymore, they're adults, they do it to each other. And Courtney is the current scapegoat. I do not like the way this family gets so heavily involved in each other's business to the point that they are blatantly violating boundaries. Can these two just admit that they don't like each other already? Just because you're sisters and disgustingly rich and famous doesn't mean you need to be best friends. We all see it and no one would fault you for it. Cause I get it. It's jealousy and that's okay. Because if I were Courtney, I'd be jealous too. Like a few episodes ago at Kim's birthday dinner and Chris made a speech that literally said, you're the head of the family now and Courtney's older. Now, a couple days after this episode where Kim and Courtney have this fight over Dolce & Gabbana, this past weekend, Kim was seen at the Dolce & Gabbana show in Italy, literally went to the fashion show with Chris. Courtney was nowhere in sight and everyone online is like, Courtney must be somewhere crying because truly it's crazy to see how they had this whole fight. It clearly was bringing some sort of rift between them. And then Kim went to their fashion show. It doesn't seem like 
Courtney was, and if she was invited, maybe she didn't go because she is just so triggered by Dolce & Gabbana now. And this is somehow like tainted the memories of Dolce & Gabbana and like possibly her wedding for her because it just seems to be such a touchy issue. But I just found it so crazy that Kim ended up going and doing another thing with Dolce & Gabbana after all of this. And of course it was Chris and Kim together as everyone has been talking about that really being the reason why Courtney was upset. But this whole thing is just wild. I certainly want to know if you guys have been watching this season and what you guys thought if you were about this feud. Let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>